today we are starting for the interview of HAL Design. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so please, uh, Vinodini, please uh, introduce yourself. Uh, I am Vinodini. Uh, I am from uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. I have done my uh, B Tech in EC from NIT Tiruchi. I am a 2020 pass out. Okay, Vinodini. Uh, yes. What is your gate rank? Uh, I have secured a, a gate rank of 240, ma'am. 240. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, okay, Vinodini, can you tell me what is sampling theorem? Uh, yes, ma'am. uh when we con- like when when a analog uh, signal is converted to digital signal and like when we have to reconstruct the signal the minimum sampling rate has to be greater than or twice the maximum frequency present in the signal so this is the minimum condition that is required in order to uh, prevent aliasing uh, if this condition that is it is called the nyquist state if this nyquist state is not met uh, is is not met we will not be able to uh, reconstruct the proper signal okay and what is aliasing uh, aliasing effect is when uh, say we sample a signal and for example like for example like we you get the uh, we get the uh, bandwidth of the signal from say uh, minus a to plus a hertz in case of aliasing what happens is i mean like when we sample a signal uh, the frequency um, like uh, uh, the uh, the frequency response it gets repeated so in case of aliasing the frequency response they overlap so when they overlap like it will be difficult for us to use a particular um, low pass filter and to see, uh, get the signal back so the overlapping of the frequency response that ha- occurs is called aliasing effect can you uh, tell me the block diagrams that are needed for analog to digital conversion can you draw yes, yes ma'am sir sure. Uh, ma'am as in uh, you are asking about the sample uh, sampler quantizer encoder yes yes just tell me uh, first is uh, first block is what uh, first like before sampler we have a low pass filter then it is a sampler quantizer encoder and what does quantizer do a uh, quantizer is quantizer is basically like we quanti- like say for example if the voltage level is between 0 to 3 volts we fix the quantize level to be 1.5 volts say for example so that 1.5 is qua- uh, called as a quantize level so any voltage between 0 to 3 will be quantized to 1.5 volt so this is the work of the quantizer okay venun me tell me can we uh, interchange both sampler and quantizer with each other uh, let's say i pass the signal uh, let's say i pass the signal to lpf then uh, i supply it to the quantizer and then uh, to the sampler Does the system will work? Uh, just a second, ma'am. Uh, no, ma'am. I think uh, first. Uh, I think first sampler should be there, like in order to. Uh, I mean, like only then we get the proper number of signals, like Why to not? achieve uh, to achieve that uh, proper uh, Nyquist rate, like. Uh, but uh, the I, i can still achieve the nyquist state in uh, the sampler stage yes ma'am uh, just a second ma'am uh, okay. yes ma'am yes ma'am it can be done ma'am it can be done and and do you think uh, the system will be still be that effective as uh, agar hum sampler pehle rakh rahe hain and quantizer yes. baad mein rakhte hain and to yes. the reverse agar main quantizer pehle rakhti hu what do you think out of the two which system will work more effective a more effective is sampler than quantizer man and what will be the problem uh, we will see in the second one second case uh, i think there will be uh, the number of sample like we will not be able to uh, a uh, predict the number of samples on like say we have an analog sin- signal and in that case like will be uh, i don't think like that will work ma'am quantizer and then uh, that will not work ma'am okay you think that will not work but you said it uh, will work easily uh, i got confused ma'am i got confused here too 
communication. baseband uh, and its pulse digital communication mam so basically we are converting an analog signal into digital and then we are transmitting it uh, through a channel okay uh, so uh, we still use uh, quantizer and pcm right yes mam so do you think that pcm can work without quantizer uh without the quantizer uh i uh, know ma'am like because uh in that case defining the uh, the sample level uh, everything will get difficult ma'am because like we have a n bit n bit quantizer so uh, defining the number of levels everything will it, be a kind of uh, difficult task okay and uh, what uh, is deciding this uh, code levels sorry ma'am you are saying that uh, defining the code levels will be uh, difficult yes ma'am what uh, what block is deciding this code levels uh, quantizer ma'am n bit quantizer and after quantizer uh, uh, actually the number of levels is given as 2 power n where n is the n bit quantizer that is used okay can you tell me what is compounding in pcm uh, ma'am and also uh, sorry ma'am what is compounding in uh, pcm yeah we have a mu yes a mu level compounding a level compounding yes have you heard of it uh, i am not sure of it ma'am i don't remember it right now okay okay will you tell me what is the uh, major advantage of this pcm over analog modulation over analog communication basically uh, yes ma'am a uh, digital communi- we prefer digital communication over analog communication is mainly because of the noise ma'am the noise interruption is much lesser in digital compared to analog and, and all- how- yes ma'am uh, how are we achieving this uh, noise reduction in pcm uh Uh, noise reduction in pcm it's based uh, in pcm when we tell about the noise it is based on the number of levels ma'am higher the levels that are present uh, the noise can be reduced that is the quantization error is reduced hence we get a better uh, snr signal to noise ratio okay uh, are we employing any uh, uh, any design in the circuit for noise free environment in pcm sorry ma'am uh, i cannot hear you i'm asking you are we employing any a particular design in the uh, pcm circuit for uh, particularly for the noise free environment uh like in in the channel we use something called a regenerative repeaters ma'am um, what so is the that basic concept behind it uh, like there is a threshold level that is present so any any signal uh, below the threshold like for example any signal below the threshold level will be interpreted as zero and above the threshold level will be interpreted as uh, one so like it is easier for reconstructing the signal ma'am the noise that was present it gets removed through the uh, uh, regenerative repeater so can we use this regenerative repeater in analog communication there we use it there uh, there we use something called amplifier ma'am in analog it is amplifier and here it only I'm particularly asking about this regenerative repeater. Why don't we use an uh, analog communication? There we have a lot of noise issue. Like yes. uh, for example, in uh, analog communication, we have a lot of noise issue. Why mm. don't we use this uh, regenerative repeater there? Uh, yes, in digital we talk about either zeros or or ones. Like say for example, zero can be zero volt and one is interpreted as five volt. So like we work with zeros and ones. Whereas in analog it is continuous. So in that case, it becomes very difficult, ma'am, okay. to use regenerative repeaters. Okay, Vinodni, uh, can you tell me what is channel coding? Uh, channel coding. Uh, 
uh, I I didn't remember it. Okay. Uh, and have you heard of channel capacity theorem? Shall yes, we give this uh, yes. channel? Yes. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the maximum uh, the formula is given as c equals to b log to the base two one plus f by n. But what is uh, the formula? I get it. But what is the uh, theorem that it gives? Uh, yes, ma'am. It tells that the maximum bit rate with which the uh, data can be sent it depends upon the bandwidth as well as the uh, signal to noise ratio. So there is a limit to which we can uh, the I mean the data can be sent. It cannot be sent beyond uh, a certain uh, bits per second limit. So there is a limit on that. Okay. Okay. Can you draw me uh, the diagram or block diagram of digital communication? Uh, ma'am, is it uh, base band or uh, band pass, ma'am? Just general diagram, anything base band, band pass, band pass. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, it basically has a analog to digital converter, uh, then a modulator, then there's so, a channel. Uh -huh. See, Vinod, me uh, here you have uh, told me that my signal is analog, and then I'm converting it to digital, and then I'm passing through it. Mm -hmm. I'm just okay. asking about particularly about digital communication. My signal is digital, hai, and then how I am transmitting the signal? I'm just asking about digital communication. Uh, Ma'am, uh, first, in order to transmit like the digital, it is modulated either ASK, PSK, or FSK. And before modulation, sorry, Ma'am. Any uh, before modulation, uh, are there not any other processes that we do on the digital signal? Have you heard about source encoding? Sorry, Ma'am. Have you heard about source encoding? Encoding. Uh, I mean, I don't remember it right now. I have to uh, reference them again. Okay. Can you tell me about AWGN channel? Uh, yes, ma'am. Additive Gaussian white noise channel. In that channel, uh, we tell that all, uh, uh, all the frequencies they are affected with equal noise. There is no discrimination uh, between the frequencies when uh, noise is affected when when it uh, when it is affected by noise. Okay, uh, what does the word additive means here? Uh, like yes, ma'am. Uh, when there are many noise that is, uh, when there are many noise that is getting uh, uh, accumulated, like we add them all and we tell that it forms a Gaussian uh, Gaussian shaped. Uh, and what is this theorem called? This a uh, theorem that describes this uh, particular property. What is that theorem? Uh, I'm not remembering it now. Man. Okay. Uh, see, uh, the formula you told me about capacity is equal to B log to 1 plus Sn, right? Yes, ma'am. If the bandwidth tends to infinity, what will be the capacity? I mean, uh, I mean, by the formula, it becomes infinity, but that does not uh, happen uh, practically, ma'am. In that case, capacity would be one point four four times f by n. Yes. Okay, then only let's conclude your interview. Yes, ma'am. Uh, see, uh, I think. Uh, आप एक तो सब फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आपने कोडिंग थ्योरी पूरा पर्टिकुलरली स्किप कर दिया है। Yes, ma'am. I right? have. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's a very important topic, you know. Me, uh, there's a high mm -hmm. probability कि आपसे ये पूछे जाते हैं, because it includes digital communication. Yes, ma'am. Mainly. वहाँ पे पूरा प्रोसेस आ रहा है, तो एक्चुअली जो हम चैनल कोडिंग करते हैं, सोर्स इन कोडिंग करते हैं, इसके क्या पर्पस होता है, why do we do it? It's important.
डिजिटल सिग्नल and after that we pass it through channel encoding ठीक है फिर मॉड्यूलेशन आता है so there is a mm. uh, three level process before we go to modulation okay okay ma'am yes ma'am okay encryption source encoding and channel encoding yes ma'am ठीक है आप ये वाला अपना टॉपिक एक बार कवर करो सेकंडली आई फील कि आप क्या कर रहे हो चीजों को थोड़ा सा ना ओवर एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हो लाइक इफ आई आस्क यू कि क्या होती है सैंपलिंग थ्योरम एक्सप्लेन इट अब बट उसको बहुत ज्यादा डीप में मत लेके जाओ उस चक्कर में क्या हो रहा है आप खुद ही कंफ्यूज हो रहे हो बोलते बोलते कि मैं मुझसे क्वेश्चन क्या पूछा था आपसे मैं कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछ रही हूँ आप उसको एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हो थोड़ी देर बाद आप कंफ्यूज हो जा रहे हो अच्छा मुझे बोलना क्या था एक्जैक्टली मैम आई कैनोट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी ओके आई एम रियली सॉरी आई एम रियली सॉरी आई एम सेंग दैट यू आर ओवर एक्सप्लेनिंग योर आंसर अब बेट लाइक यू आर सेंग दैट आई आस्क यू वॉट इज सैम्पलिंग and then you are explaining it a bit and then getting confused uh, the, uh, what do i have to actually answer right okay getting yeah, the point okay. yes ma'am yes so ma don't don't go over explaining it and okay, uh, secondly uh, i think you should work a little bit on your introduction your mm-hmm. introduction is very brief okay okay work uh, a little there okay okay, uh, okay virodhni uh, ma'am and uh, yeah. what was uh, Uh, I I forgot some question. Okay, I was about to ask compounding. You are, you wanted to ask. Uh, I also ask you this question. Compounding, what is compounding? Uh, yes. Right? Yes, ma'am. See, compounding is uh, adjusting the S N S by N ratio in PCM. Okay, ma'am. Signal to noise ratio according to its need. Like before quantizer, I want to increase the uh, S N N level before I oh. send it to the channel. Okay, that is called expanding. Mm-hmm. and uh, when i am decoding it after the decoder i uh, do this process called compression okay. there i decrease the sn rate, uh, s by n ratio okay this uh, this uh, process of expanding and compression is called compounding in pcm okay ma'am okay ma'am okay. okay. any uh, other can, question ma'am can um, a sampler and quantizer be interchanged yeah they can be easily interchanged but uh, see your answer was right the first time you said they can uh, be reversed they are reversible but the issue okay. will be that there are two will be too many uh, levels to, that are to be uh, sampled earlier that yes, are to be ma'am. encoded earlier okay yes ma'am right we can easily quantize the uh, continuous signal and then we will sample it but uh, at the uh, time of encoding there will be too many levels okay ma'am encoded yeah. okay Right. Yeah, th- that system will be not be practically uh, implementable. Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Okay, Vinod. Any other Thank question? You. No, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.